Hey guys, well I got a request from Burgandy quite a, some time ago, wanted me to do like a little care sheet and a feeding video of my beta fish, uh, blunt, beta splenidins. So uh, here it is, a little nice uh, cute fish, he's a male, his name is Crimson, you can see his uh, whole body is red. So um, I'm not going to lie to you, I got the cage from, well the aquarium from Walmart. Yeah, everything from Walmart, except the fish, obviously. Uh, now they're starting to close their uh, pet department, which sucks, because they used to buy their tea cages at $10, now I have to spend 20 at the pet store. Uh, yeah, so uh, keep it in a little tall uh, aquarium. Uh, you do need to keep them like teas, they need to be alone, because um, since they are fighter fish, if you have more than two in one tank, uh, they're going to fight. And how they fight is that uh, they will p they puff up, and it's really awesome if you put it next to a mirror. You see it get angry and start to attack and stuff. But um, I'm not gonna do that. So it's the food I use. It's beta food. So it's very important just to chlorinate the water. So they sell um, little chlorine for beta fish that you want to add to keep it alive. So uh, they mainly live about two three years he's about two years old I had another one uh, if you remember um, midnight uh, that was a long time ago he lived about three years he was awesome okay so here's the uh, light and stuff I just dump some uh, little fish pellets in there and we'll see how he eats get some food. You don't want to overfeed this fish because uh, they have a nasty habit of over overeating. Two. Give about three pellets, four pellets. And there we go. So, uh, once again, this is a little feeding video slash care sheet video of how I keep beta fish, beta splenogens. He's looking at us. <laughs> Alright guys, take care.